found this Chewbacca at a uh, antique store. I thought it was pretty cool. I've seen people use these for uh, for their Sasquatch creatures, so that's kind of what I'm planning to do. It came with this uh, spiky collar thing. I remember this uh, something that Chewbacca had in Han Solo story. His uh, side bag doesn't open, although it looks like it's just held held together by a, st a string. That's pretty cool. Little uh, side bag. I might repurpose that for someone else. He does come with this bowcaster. It's uh, kind of styled as the the G.I. Joe Hall of Fame style uh, hand grip, but it's pretty cool little weapon. Another one I might uh, repurpose and maybe add a string and turn it into a real crossbow. His face is almost comical, but that's okay. He does have his original tag and was the uh, 1997 release of the of the Star Wars figures. This was back when Kenner was still a Hasbro company. He has pretty good articulation. It feels like he has a metal uh, skeleton. And look at those feet. Do those scream Bigfoot, Bigfoot feet? I think so. And yes, I'm going to use him as uh, Sasquatch instead of Chewbacca. He also has the original uh, uh, claw hands that uh, they had for G.I. Joe's, or used for G.I. Joe's back then. This is my other creature. He was a uh, Ferrilla. I did a video on him uh, a while back. And he has like a monkey or a gorilla pod um, armature. And he had a really stupid face. So uh, my wife and I try to give him a different face. And he's, he still kind of looks goofy, but I, I kind of like him. I have a video that I'll post uh, uh, sometime soon for uh, for him. Because I call him the man bear. I put um, a Star Wars figure hands and feet on him. And he's, a, he's about 12 inches tall also. Maybe a little bit taller. And uh, Chewbacca's about the same height. A little, little taller than 12 inches. Chewbacca's face is kind of, kind of comical. Kind of reminds me of the Cowardly Lion off of uh, Wizard of Oz. Well, that's okay. I think he'll be fine. He'll make a great Sasquatch creature, I think. And I like that he has a, a metal armature. It's pretty interesting. You could actually pose him in several different poses. Especially the iconic uh, Sasquatch uh, walking pose, which I think will be very fun. I can't wait to use him in uh, photo stories as as a Sasquatch. So I think he'll make a great Sasquatch. And to me, it feels like they didn't um, add enough stuff in, because he seems rather skinny if you uh, push in on him. It's almost like they didn't give him a, a waist or something. It's kind of strange. Doesn't have a lot of articulation in his, his neck. I think he'll be great. Well, let me know what you think. I think this Chewbacca was pretty cool. I don't, it was a pretty good pickup. I might have paid a little bit too much for him. Um, but that's okay. I, I've always wanted one. There had a few other uh, Star Wars figures, but they were all the Hall of Fame bodies, and I just don't collect the Hall of Fame bodies anymore. Anyways, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And, uh... Drop a comment in the comment section to let me know what you think of this Chewbacca and uh, other Sasquatch creatures or Bigfoot creatures. Don't forget to like this video if you like it. Um, share it with your friends. All that really helps my channel. And I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to collect, inspire, and create. I'll see you in the next video.